टुडे वी शैल स्टडी द सर्कुलेशन इन वर्टिब्रेड्स फर्स्टली वी विल स्टडी सर्कुलेशन इन फिशिज इन केस ऑफ फिशिज देयर हार्ट इज टू चैम्बर्ड मीन्स इट विल बी हैविंग ओनली वन एट्रियम एंड वन वेंट्रिकल नेक्स्ट दे आर हैविंग सिंगल सर्कट सर्कुलेशन as they are having only two chambers of the heart so blood will be passing only once from their heart and the passage will be as following firstly uh, through the veins the deoxygenated blood will be connect uh, uh, will be collected and ultimately it will be poured into sinus venosus then it will go towards the atrium as they are having only one atrium and uh, from atrium blood will go towards the ventricle from ventricle the blood will go towards the conus arteriosus which is a bulging part of the ventricle then it will go towards the aorta their their aorta is having two parts one is the ventral part from the ventral part the blood will be directed towards the gills from gills after oxygenation blood will return towards dorsal aorta and from dorsal aorta the blood will be provided to the whole body and it will be oxygenated blood as you can see there the blood is passing only once from the heart so their circulation is called as single circuit circulation next are the amphibians in case of amphibians all of these three amphibians reptiles and birds they are having double circuit circulation in case of amphibians the heart is three chambered three chambered uh, means they will be having two atria and one ventricle in them the circulation is as following firstly deoxygenated blood through the venous system it will enter into right atrium from right atrium atrium it will go towards the ventricle from ventricle it will enter into lungs or it can also go to skin for oxygenation as you can um i remember i have already told you the amphibian in case of amphibians uh, the respiration can be cutaneous as well um in which uh, the uh, skin capillaries help in oxygenation the capillaries present beneath the skin they help in oxygenation so after oxy uh, oxygenation uh, the blood will return towards the left atrium and then it will go towards the ventricle and then it will be provided towards the body if you can see there is only one ventricle and uh, uh, the oxygenated deoxygenated blood as well the oxygenated blood from right atrium both of them are entering into the same ventricle so the blood will get completely mixed and uh, the uh, blood which will be provided towards the body it will be partially oxygenated it will not be completely oxygenated this is the reason that um, this system uh, does not support a high metabolic rate next are the reptiles reptiles have a four chambered heart they have a double circuit circulation but the interventricular septum is not complete so the oxygenated and deoxygenated bloods slightly get mixed so in them the circulation is as follows firstly a uh, deoxygenated blood will be entering into right atrium from there it will go towards right ventricle from right ventricle the blood through pulmonary um, veins it will uh, enter into lungs and after oxygenation it will enter into left atrium and then left ventricle and it will be provided to the whole body as you can see there is a slight mixing of oxygenated and deoxygenated blood so what is its significance it helps the reptiles to uh, oxygenate their vital parts when they are in submerged condition or when the oxygen supply is low for example when the turtle uh, tucks its head into its shell so um, in that case it will be using this slightly mixed uh, oxygen uh, 
partially very partially oxygenated blood to uh, provide oxygen to its vital parts next are the mammals and in case of mammals there is a complete separation of ventricles so there will be no mixing of oxygenated and deoxygenated blood and their heart is four chambered blood through the venous system uh, it is deoxygenated blood it will enter into right atrium all uh, the veins collect into hepatic uh, sorry uh, in, uh, into right atrium and they pour the deoxygenated blood into right atrium from there it will go towards the right ventricle when the heart uh, when the atria will contract uh, blood will be entered into ventricle right ventricle next through the pulmonary arteries blood goes towards the lungs and uh, from there after oxygenation uh, the blood through pulmonary veins will enter into left atrium and this is the pulmonary circulation blood and uh, blood from right ventricle through pulmonary arteries enters into lungs and from lungs after oxygenation it goes to pulmonary veins and then into the left atrium so from there to there this is the pulmonary circulation and after entering into left atrium both the atria right and left they contract at the same time when the right atrium contracts blood will enter into right ventricle and at the contraction of left atrium the blood will be entering into left ventricle but the blood that is into left ventricle it will be completely oxygenated and then it will enter into aorta aortic trunk will divide to form different branches which, which will provide blood to all the parts of body so from there to this point this is called as systematic circulation or systemic circulation in which the oxygenated blood is provided towards the body and the deoxygenated blood from body goes to the heart